Hey guys, it's Ace from Southern Tech Engineering. Today I'm going to show you how to execute shell commands inside CMD with Visual Basics. Alright, before we get to that, go check out the site. Sites.google.com backslash site backslash Southern Tech Engineering. If you don't want to type all that in, scroll up here. www.southerntechengineering.tk Right there. Put the hell shell out. Now let's get to the video. Alright, so you're gonna load up Microsoft Visual Studio under Visual Basics, Windows Form Application. Name it whatever you want. I'm gonna say shell commands. It's okay. Alright, first thing you want to do, you can add a button or whatever you want to execute the command. Just go over the toolbox, grab a button, alright, you can name it whatever you want, change the form however you like, I'm not going to get into that, so just double click the button. Alright, once you get in here, the line of code that you're going to type is shell and then quotation cmd.exe backslash c and then whatever command you want. Say, uh, a basic command right off my head is a uh, shut down minus i then space forward slash in parentheses make sure you have the lines word for word this is the code right here that you have to have correct so you can run the shell command so basically it's shell open the bracket parentheses cmd dot exe space backslash c and then the command you want right here you can put a space forward slash and then parentheses and bracket. Alright, now let's go and run that. Alright, we got a form up. Let's click the button. Right here. Opens up quick. Pretty nice. Here's how you will get an error if you don't add this piece of code right here. Make sure you have that. If you don't have all this word for word except for the command line right here, you will get an error and it will open up like 75 command prompts. So I hope that helped y'all. I'm Ace from Southern Tech Engineering. Go check us out. SouthernTechEngineering.tk